Breaking all new at 5, NBC Charlotte has learned Charlotte Christian School in South Charlotte was closed today after widespread illness at the school. And a note sent home to parents, administrators say they made the decision after consulting with local health officials, noting that children with flu-like symptoms should stay home next week. And we've seen flu numbers spike. 119 people have died in North Carolina alone. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly is live at 5, and Ashley, the school got a big scrub down today, we hear. Well, Sarah, actually, officials tell us that uh, there will be a janitorial crew in the school over the weekend, totally disinfecting the entire school. And parents we spoke to say they're applauding the school's decision to close it down today. Uh, as school officials said, they closed it to keep these illnesses from spreading any further. <laughs> It's been another deadly week in the Carolinas when it comes to the flu. <laughs> New numbers from the Centers for Disease Control show this week the flu is responsible for killing 11 people in North Carolina. That brings the total number of flu-related deaths in the Tar Heel State to 119. In South Carolina, officials say 43 people have died. The predominant strain we've seen um, in our pediatric practice has been flu A up to this point but then we've started to see some cases of influenza B cropping up. Dr. Rhonda Pat is a pediatrician with Atrium Health and says it's not uncommon to see flu cases and other illnesses last through May. The other thing we're seeing right now is a lot of complications of the flu. So people who had the flu last week or the week before whose immune systems are down because of that, who are coming in with sinus infections, pneumonia. Illnesses to blame for Charlotte Christian School shutting its doors Friday. And a note sent home to parents, administrators said due to an extreme amount of illness, the school would be closed Friday. They say they closed the school to allow six students and teachers time to get better while preventing further spread of the viruses. Now, school officials have not said exactly how many students or teachers are ill, but they do say they've had numerous staff and students who have come down with both the stomach bug and the flu. And guys, they say school will resume on Monday, but they are asking that any student who is still experiencing any vomiting, fever, or other flu-like illnesses to stay home until they're symptom-free for at least 48 hours. Reporting live, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte.